was reckless driving that caused this crash that left people dead. ABC 2's Don Harrison joins us now with more on the young people who lost their lives. Debris on the asphalt is a harsh reminder of a crash Saturday afternoon that killed three people and has one still in shock trauma, all the victims in their 20s. Thomas Mazingo is driving on Route 213 just outside of Centerville with Amelia Sitzler in the car. Witnesses say Mazingo was driving fast and passed people illegally when he crashed head on with a car driven by John Ford. Ford was injured while his girlfriend Samantha Rourke was killed. The, the investigation at this time indicates that aggressive driving was a factor in this crash uh, and possibly speed. All of that remains under investigation. The father of the only survivor came to the scene of the crash today. He did not want to speak on camera out of respect to the families of the people that were killed. His son was driving the car with his girlfriend of seven years. He told me they met at the University of Maryland and had plans to become engaged. Zingo, the driver responsible for the crash, according to police, has more than 15 previous traffic-related violations. You know, Maryland's traffic laws are in place for a reason, and that's to keep our highways safe. That's why the state police and allied law enforcement enforce the traffic laws. Whether it's aggressive driving or drunk driving or speed limit laws, they're there for a reason. This is a long country road in spots, and many cars drive well over the speed limit. Uh, and it is, it is a road that can be deceptive. Uh, there can be long, level, straight areas in that roadway, but there's also areas where uh, the views are obstructed and you can't see what's coming. And that's why the State Highway Administration puts down no passing zones. All of that is engineered. That's a big part of highway safety in Maryland. Well, the young kids are, don't think. They think they're invincible, I think, and they're not thinking that, you know, they can kill themselves or somebody else when they drive like that. Now, a father pauses to reflect on a moment that changed the lives of his son and three other families forever. Uh, and this is something that, again, uh, we believe could have clearly been avoided uh, had a driver obeyed the speed limit, uh, obeyed uh, the, the aggressive driving laws, and, and not been an aggressive driver. On the Eastern Shore, Don Harrison, ABC 2 News.